Amazon Board of Directors. We are external consultants, Avni, Luke, and myself, Ebony. So remember the questions that we were considering and the last time that we spoke. So first, has Amazon gone too far in its approach to incentive shopping? And two, does it have an ethical responsibility to potential communities during the process? Now in short, the answer is yes. Yet, we will but we will discuss and provide a solution uh, to the ethical dilemma of duty, giving the community stakeholders, um, uh, given the community stakeholders and this relationship of asymmetry power. So let's look at asymmetry power amongst Amazon and the cities that are running for the second uh, location of the headquarters. So Amazon is more heavily able to influence the decision-making process. It's able to offer incentives as though infrastructure, jobs, growth, money. Cities are able to offer incentives as though land, people, talent. What does this mean? This means that wherever Amazon decides to go is going to totally change their environment. This is a big deal. This is why we have cities as though Raleigh, North Carolina, offering incentive packages of $50 million, compared to places as though Montgomery County, Maryland, offering incentive packages of $8.5 billion. And that's only after changing its laws. Before, it was $5 billion. Cities know the impact that Amazon has if deciding to go to their community. This is causing competition. Now, we only have information from nine of the 20 cities. There's no implications about the others. So if you have places as though Montgomery County, Maryland, able to increase their incentive package, who's to say the other cities will not? Consider the position of power that you're in. Amazon is massive. 25% of the total US population are Amazon customers. That's one out of every four U.S. adults. That means that Amazon is bigger, more well-known than Boston. It's, it's well-known nationwide. It has a name. It has influence. Also, it provides 50,000 jobs. So what is that saying? That's saying that not only are you making change, but you are that change. So if you do not decide to act now, there are negative implications to follow. And I'm gonna let Luke take over and talk about the ethical implications. Thank you, Ebony. There are two duties that you need to answer uh, during this bidding process. The first is you need to minimize the financial burden to these host communities. And the second is you need to consider every stakeholder within uh, the process, not just the uh, government agencies alone. Currently, your strategy is to uh, be hands off of the process, and this essentially is driving up the uh, incentive packages that you're receiving. As Ebony mentioned, we're up to 8.5 billion. And there's only nine that have released their financials. This will continue to grow exponentially unless there is some type of uh, timeline constructed or a process to establish uh, what the criteria really is uh, with, within this process. Uh, right now, you're using your power for a short-term benefit of this economic package. However, this cash straps these communities to, and doesn't allow for financial success moving forward. This is not optimal for Amazon in any case of the scenario. We saw this uh, with your uh, display in Seattle. Uh, it, to, to create true long-term partnerships, we need to have a financially successful community. And that starts with establishing a set of true criteria uh, that, the, that these communities know how to move on from this. I'll move on to the second point, which is include every stakeholder within this community. These communities are so blindsided by the, the numbers that you are providing, which are 50,000 jobs, $5 billion in incentive packages that will help to build infrastructure. 
they see this as growth, and that is great for the community, it really is. This will provide revenue streams and, and jobs for their communities. However, however, uh, every stakeholder is not being considered. Uh, the, the stakeholders can be citizens, non-governmental agencies, and even your own employees. Because of the uh, government's inability to uh, connect every single stakeholder, uh, there are voices that are not being heard, and things like real estate prices, uh, displacement of homes and communities, and traffic uh, will be increased with your presence at them, and all of these factors need to be considered. Um, please do not sacrifice short-term success uh, with long-term financial partnerships. And to discuss the guidelines and uh, steps to move forward, I am floor of the Thank you. So as my colleagues pointed out that there is a huge power asymmetry between Amazon and the city. And hence, this is the ethical duty of Amazon to address that power asymmetry and be sensitive to it. As we have seen that this has become an unhealthy competitive bidding. And in that bidding process, the government, Amazon, everyone has abandoned their duties towards the state towards various stakeholders, existing citizens, existing businesses, non-profits, employees, potential citizens, non-profit organizations, all are being abandoned in this competitive unhealthy building. And to ensure that this need is taken care, this urgent need is taken care, we recommended you a two-fold solution. One, a, a process and how you as an Amazon can be active in that process of incentive shopping. And second, a strategy to locate your headquarter to, to spread the positive impact to as many communities as possible. In the process, we recommended four major steps, which involved big corporations like Amazon announcing the value they are bringing to a community clearly stating their decision criteria on what criteria will they decide which city is being chosen. Third, finding the perfect cultural value for it. And fourth, setting a reasonable time frame to make the decisions. As we are being seen in the current incentive bidding process, we do not know what is your deciding criteria. And hence, this has left cities coming up with insane bids, giving up everything they have to get Amazon. And in terms of time frame, there is no time frame. We do not know when it will Amazon make the decision and what has it caused. Cities have put everything they have, time, money, resources, in this process. And it has been taken away from those citizens who are living in those communities. The money and time which should have been used for their development of schools, education resources infrastructure is all gone to lure Amazon. And what will happen to those potential communities if Amazon does not choose them? They don't have a plan. What will happen to them? Hence, this process is required to address this need and ensure that every stakeholder is taken care of. Second, we recommended you a strategy to relocate your headquarters. We recommended that instead of choosing one city and giving everything to that, you choose multiple cities and locate smaller offices there. Why did we recommend you this strategy? Because we do not want you to have another Seattle. Look what happened in Seattle. The infrastructure burden, the amount of insane amount of affordable living prices has left people disappointed, frustrated. We do not want another Seattle for you. We do not want communities to resist Amazon coming in. We want you to positively and significantly impact multiple communities. Utilize their specialized offerings, their specialized talents, and have your offices there. We recommend this entire strategy because we feel that this is the prime opportunity for Amazon to use their power, to use their influence, to be ethical, to be socially responsible, and spread that positive impact to as many communities as possible. Because the power of Amazon makes gives it the responsibility to take care of communities and help them grow. Thank you.